Hi, this is Wilderness Surviving to Thriving, and today I'm going to show you how to string a bow with 550 cords. So what are you going to need with this? You're going to need several things. Well, first of all, you're going to need bows, which I'll go over the, the bows I'm going to string in a minute. But you need a lighter, a knife, a measuring tape. You know, the measuring tape is not that uh, important because you really should know your measurements of your, you know, your hand, you know, how big your hand is, you know, your knuckle right there, you know, is an inch, you know, from fingertip to fingertip, you know, from your fingers to your elbow, you know, you should know the dimensions of your body. If you're an adult, you should measure everything um, and no dirty jokes and, uh, you know, know the dimensions of everything. So with that said, uh, you don't need it, but for the example purposes I'm going to go ahead and use a measuring tape and obviously you need 550 cord so 550 cord <clears throat> how do you know this is real 550 cord well I got this from Walmart so that probably tells you right off the bat it's not real 550 cord but um, you know will it work sure it's gonna work um, it's gonna work as well and last as long probably not would I trust myself um, you know you know putting my weight on this thing to you know in a life-saving uh, situation absolutely not but let's go ahead and one way of telling is go ahead and count the strings we got six strings here one two three four five six yep um, real 550 cord has seven seven strings also you could feel this and it feels cottony so we know this is not real uh, 550 cord um, but anyways it will work and it will you know do do the trick so we're gonna go ahead and use that so um, let's go ahead and get started. So with the, uh, you also need a bow actually. So, you know, these bows here I picked up at the, uh, garage sale. No, it was a, uh, flea market, I believe for a couple bucks several years ago. Um, you know, it was costing, you know, too much money to string it. So I'm just going to do it with the 550 cord. Um, and I'll show you, uh, you know, with the recurve bow, which is this type of bow. Um, I'll just kind of scan this here. You know, they say to do four inches. Um, you know, you're supposed to measure from notch to notch. So you want, you know, straight down that way. And uh, they say four inches shorter. You know, with the uh, long bow, you know, they say three inches shorter from notch to notch. So we'll go ahead and uh, go to the table over here and I'll show you how to measure that. So let's go there. Okay, before we uh, measure it, I want to show you how to um, tie the knot. So this is the knot I like to use. Um, and I'll show you a couple times and I'll show you the wrong way and the right way. But anyway, so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm putting, this is the end right here. And I'm just twisting it, just making a loop just like that. Leave a little extra at the end there. And this rope is on top of this one, as you can see. And I just take this loop right here, this end, and I'm putting this uh, through here so you see you know if I pull this through it goes right out nothing happens you see that so it's on the outside just like that and I am putting this straight through okay now from here you, you create another loop here and you have this new loop and the old loop what you want to do is you want to take this end and go back through the old loop here and just kind of pull this end out now if you did this right is you know this doesn't move at all you know let's make it tight and it doesn't move it doesn't slide up or down the good thing about this uh, knot is that it's really easy to untie also so we'll just untie that and start over again so you just go like this you go around like that remember this ends out this piece is behind and then you go through the seam you know you don't go over the top you go right through here so like I said if you pull it you know nothing happens you see so you go here, you go through there, underneath, and you, you hold this to the side if you want. This is the new loop. This is the old one. So you just take this end here, go back over the top, right like that, over the two, uh, I guess the, there's two cords there now, and you just kind of pull it tight. So that's the right way, okay? And you should pull it tight, and this does not slide up or down. Okay, now see it, it doesn't slide at all. Let me just show you. Now the wrong way of doing this is I'll just show you. You know this happens to me once in a blue moon. I'll do it the wrong way because I'm not paying attention. Is the same way you do the loop. You know I've done it this way a couple times, and then you go here, you go up over the top, and you go through the uh, the new loop. Well, that kind of gives you the same type of knot, but the only thing is this slides. So, you know, this is a good knot for some things, but uh, do you want to use it for 
Uh, bowstring, I don't know. I guess you could use it, but I, I like the other way better where it's, it doesn't slide on you. Okay, so that's how you do that. So let's go ahead and, and untie it. And I'll just do it really fast one more time. Here you go. You know, like that. Underneath. And uh, through the old one, tighten her up. And that's pretty good. And she shouldn't slide on you. So that's how I, I make the loop, okay? Now let's go back to the table and we'll size her up now. Okay, it's time to size her up now. So as you can see, you know, this loop doesn't have to be so big. I made it a little big, but whatever for demonstration purposes. But you want to line this up with the notch right there, okay? So, and you want to put this on the side where you're going to, uh, you know, uh, be where the strings belongs for the most part. And you want to come down to the end you're going to cut. And you want to do some extra ones. So I'm going to cut it around here so because I am going to tie a knot. Any excess I have will be okay. So let me go ahead and cut that. I'm just going to cut with this knife here. The knife I made several years ago. It's just too heavy and bulky. I made it out of a leaf spring. Um, I'm never going to use that in the field or anything. It's just too bulky. So I never even finished sharpening it. Um, I do that a lot. I make knives and just never finish it, you know, touch it up. Um, I make them functional, really. And, you know, I, as long as they're functional, that's all I care about. As far as how pretty they are, <laughs> I really don't care about that so much. But anyway, here's an old knife I'm going to use. So let me go ahead and cut this string here. So just cut that there. Somewhere there. I don't know. Yeah, not the sharpest knife in the world. So we got the string cut, and I have a measuring tape out here. So um, as you can see, I'm just going to put this toward the end, right about there. Sorry, my film man's not here today. And uh, we're going to measure, you know, as you can see, you know, three inches for a straight uh, long bow, and four inches for a re recurve bow. So we're gonna do this about three inches. So, um, you know, just measure it. You know, that's where you're gonna want it. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, make that loop. And like I showed you before, and make sure that it's, you know, around three inches shorter than the, um, than, you know, notch to notch. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'll be right back. Okay, it's about, uh, you know, three inches or so from the end over there. You see this end right here? I'm just kind of lining it up. And we'll take her down, straight down. You know, it's, it, it, you know, if I tightened it out, it would be about three inches from, you know, the notch. So that's about where we want it. Uh, next thing we want to do is we want to take it, the end, and you're just going to burn it. It's windy out here, so you know what? Forget it, this is not working. You wanna burn the end. Um, right there, you wanna burn the end. Let me just give it a shot. It is windy. It's working a little bit. Keep, I think it's out. Okay, it will burn, I promise you. But this thing is not working. But anyways, we'll leave that alone. Ah, I'm stubborn. You got to do it. Come on, work. I want to duck down. I can't duck down to get the, you know, get away from the wind. But anyways, you want to burn it so it seals that together so it doesn't come loose. So that's the next step. And it's time to string it now. So let me cut and show you how to do that. All right, one more time. Come on. Work. Ah, it's too windy. All right, I'm cutting. No, I'm doing it. We got it. I'm going down low. All right, come on now. It's too windy. Oh, man. This keeps on going out. All right. All right, let's cut. No, we got to do it. All right, I'm going to hide it right here underneath the camera. Oh, man, it's driving me nuts. Ah. Oh. I'll be back. Yay! I took her inside, man. So you want to burn this to seal this up. 
and you know you shouldn't see any white there see it's catching on fire great we're gonna have a fire inside <laughs> blow that out so you sealed up you can also use that uh, that stuff right there is glue so you know you just touch it to something you can glue it together but anyways I did it <laughs> I went inside so it was because of the wind this thing works fine but anyway so let's go back to stringing it okay Okay, I went back and I tied the other one the way I told you not to tie it because uh, these notches stink and it kept on slipping off. So I tied it where it can get nice and tight on there. So, um, you know, once this one is done the way I said to do it, um, this one's fine because once the pressure's there, it will stay there. So I'm um, fine with that. But let me show you how to uh, string this really fast. And, you know, what I do, I'm sure. There's people do it all different ways. I just stick my leg in here, put my foot, you know, on this end so it doesn't move. And I simply just use my, you know, my body to put it there. I don't know. It doesn't take me much to do it. So, and that's how you do it. And the other thing I want to mention is you want to have excess at the end, a little bit of excess, not this much, but you know, maybe this much, because you know when you pull it, it might um, lose some of the length. And then it's going to snap and you're going to punch yourself or, you know, hit yourself or whatever happens there. So that's how you string it. So, you know, all I did was an unstring the same thing. You stick your leg in. I could do it without, you know, put your foot right here. And then you simply just string the loop there. So, like I said, I did this one the way I said not to do it. And you can see it's pretty tight there because it just kept on sl switch um, slipping off so um, but that's a good knot it'll hold no problem um, but in this one you can see you know it's kind of the way I showed you so but anyway that's how you do it firing time yes okay it's firing time now probably 100 yards away maybe half a mile from the target now nah, probably like 40 yards um, I re-strung the bow a little bit because it was um, it was just you know it wasn't tight enough because I restrung it. So let's go ahead and see how the sucker fires. Nice shot, bullseye, bullseye. All right, so. That's how you shoot a bow. Um, I don't know. I messed up. Should be right there. Let me do that again. Okay, we're gonna go for we're gonna go for that bullseye now. And I'm used to a compound bow, so I'm shooting through some trees right now. So let's see if I can get that bullseye. Um, plus, I'm working with an, an arrow that doesn't have any really you know flights to it, feathers to it. Just add a little leaf. We're good. And let's go ahead and shoot for that bulls. And this is, doesn't have a rest there, so I will uh, add a rest. You know what? Let me shoot to this end. Looks a little bit better. <laughs> That's a little better. So let me add that rest, and we'll try to get a bullseye. Bullseye. That's what Here's the bullseye about. I just shot. Love uh, trick photography. <laughs> no, just kidding. But. Um, Anyway, so just to sum up some things, um, you know, when you're tying your knots, I tied the knot, I was off camera probably like four times to get it right. And, you know, the good thing is, is that knot is very easy to untie. So you can keep on doing it until you get it right. But, uh, so I retied it a couple times. But anyway, um, what else do I have to say? Um, you know, I'm a, I guess you would call me, I'm a, a minimalist. Uh, you know, I, I really do everything. Um, you know, like as far as, you know, uh, bows are concerned and stuff, I shoot with my, you know, bare hands for the most part. I don't have all fancy gadgets and what have you, even with my compound. So, um, you know, I like to be, you know, able to do things without all the extras. And that's how I design my lifestyle for the most part is to live off as uh, li little things as, you know, uh, small amount of things as possible. Keep life simple, you know, in this world where, um, things are so complicated and everything else you know sometimes it's really hard just to keep things simple and that's you know how i do things for the most part so anyways we'll just surviving to thriving 
Look at that shot. I actually split an arrow. There was another arrow there, and I split it, but I removed that before the picture. It was just too, you know, ugly looking. But anyway, uh, Wilderness Surviving the Thriving. See you next time.